Hello guys, Kivdid here, and in this video, I'm going to take a look at the XVX M87 Retro Grey. I actually won this keyboard in a giveaway on their Instagram, so this video is not sponsored in any way. So let's move on to the unboxing. In the black box, we obviously get the keyboard. I really like the retro colorway they got going on. You also get a switch and keycap puller, a USB dongle, a few extra keycaps in different colors, the user manual and a non-braided USB-C cable. All right, now on to the keyboard specifications. The M87 is a hot swap top-mounted TKL keyboard that has this really cool OLED screen and of course a volume knob. The keyboard can be connected through wired mode, 2.4 GHz mode or Bluetooth mode. The keyboard also comes with some custom features such as case foam, plate foam and an IXPE switch pad. And the stabilizers are also pre-lubricated and I gotta say that they're pretty good compared to other pre-built keyboards that I've tried. Let's talk quickly about the design. The case is made out of plastic and the design of it has some, let's say, interesting choices. I mean, I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. But I don't like it at the same time. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. And let's take a closer look at the OLED screen and let's cycle through the various options. XVX also provides you with the software where you can edit your keys, change RGB modes, change the GIF shown on the OLED screen and create various configurations. Now this is really cool. The keycaps you get are double shot PBT in the OEM profile. I really like the retro colorway they went with, but one downside to these keycaps are the inconsistent legends. The W in Win is much thicker than the I and the N, and the V and the N is much thicker than the B. Now over to the switches. The switches you get are the Altemu white switches. They are a pre lubed linear switch that actuates at 45 grams. The switches do a really good job. They're smooth and they lean towards the deeper side of the sound spectre. So let's listen to the sound test. What do you think of the stock sound test? Please let me know down below. I think this keyboard is really good, but there is also room for improvement as well. The flip up feet lacked any form of rubber, so it just slid around, which was pretty annoying. And on the PCB, there are north facing LEDs, and as you may know, that may cause trouble with cherry profile keycaps. And lastly, the plate is made out of steel, which is unfortunate because the keyboard could have been so much better with just a PC plate. But all in all, this keyboard is a pretty decent pre-built TKL with custom features and a really cool OLED screen. I would say that the $109 price tag is maybe a bit steep, at least compared to the other options in this hobby, but you also have to consider that the other options do not have an OLED screen. So if an OLED screen is high up on your list, go for this one. The XVX M87 is overall a pleasant keyboard that is ready to use straight out of the box. That was pretty much it for my review of the XVX M87 Retro Grey keyboard. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It would help the channel out a lot. And I'll leave you guys with a sound test with the EpoMaker Budgerigar switches. Enjoy!